I'm not, again, a salonist or makeup artist. This is just how I do my face. Maybe you'll learn something, maybe you won't. It's really important you use moisturizer for your skin. I'm not too crazy about it yet. I'm still really young, but 25 is the year that your, everything just goes. That's not going to happen here. We're going to do some pre preventative care. I put a colored t-shirt on top of my white shirt. So you could see, I don't really have too bad of dark circles under my eyes, but I do have a little bit. And I used to put concealer under my eyes. It would just seep into the little crinkles that I do have. So I looked older than I really was. Actually helped a lot when I was younger. But now that I'm older, I don't like that. So what I use is this Pixie. You get a Target, ridiculous price, but I like it. I buy it whenever. No, I don't. My mom buys it because I can't. Who pays 20 some dollars for something they put under their eye? Apparently, I do. My mom does. You twist it first. And then it's just, it's a reflective cream so that the light reflects off. You don't see wrinkles or it just looks brighter. It brightens up your eye, eye brightener. I wonder if you could see that better. I don't know. And then I put bare minerals all over my face. Now, I won't put the powder under my eyes because I don't want that to get in the wrinkles. You're using dark, crumbly eyeshadow. Put your foundation on after. Do your eye makeup first. I learned that. The online ladies. Next, I use my whatever concealer. This is the wrong one. This one. It's lighter because I'm lighter now. I put it on top of whatever blemishes I have at the moment. There they are. Right there. Sometimes I put some right here. They tend to get red bare for some reason. And then I go over it a little bit with the powder. Next I take a bronzer. Generic bronzer. Just go. This will hopefully make me look like I have cheekbones. The ladies put it up here. I don't know if that's to make your face look a little dented in or hollow. I'm just going to put it there too. And then blend it a little bit with my foundation brush. And then I kind of dust off my bronzer brush. I don't have another one. I stole it from Mona. I just like the pink. And I just put this right there. <laughs> Kept growling at me. The Eevee. <laughs> Speak. <laughs> and I take my black eyeliner and... I take a little smudger brush I have. It's actually looser than a smudger brush. I don't know what it's for. Maybe it's for this. I use this brown MAC eyeshadow I stole from my sister. I use brush. They go like this and say the number of the brush. And that's helpful. You could see the brush better. But I feel dumb doing this because I don't know what kind of brush it is. No number. It has a number. But are all the numbers the same with every brand? No. Are they? So confusing. Ah! We're going to blend. Because my foundation is a powder, I just use that as my top thing. You know, on top by the brow. And then for it to blend the brown in maybe a little bit better. Right there. A little bit more of black eyeliner on the bottom. I usually always use volume, voluminous, volume, voluminous, voluminous L'Oreal. Recently I've been using CoverGirl or this CoverGirl Lash Blast. Drew Barrymore add one. This is twice. You can see I got some on my upper lid. That's okay. You just use your smudge brush and smudge it into your already dark line. So this is pretty much my makeup. You can't really see it. It's okay. I've been wearing a lot of lipstick lately and I've been using the Revlon Color Stay on my lips. My mom buys this in every color to find the perfect shade. Probably hasn't because it's three girls and we steal them all. It's timeless nude. Careful you don't put too much because you can start to crumble off. It happened to me on Halloween and I was eating chunks of it. It was gross. I'm going to take my lip liner and go over what I just did. And then I forget where I got the delicious. 
I have to fix my hair and go to church.